everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I'm gonna share my style evolution with you. This is a video that I saw Olivia is doing on her channel, so I'll make sure to link her down below. I absolutely love her video and just her blog in general. But she basically talked through her style over the past six or seven years and I felt it was so much fun to look at. So I decided to do my own and it was a walk down memory lane. I had some really cringy photos to look at and I thought it would be fun to show you how my style has evolved from 2010 up to now. But before we get started with 2010, I want to show you a few photos of me as a teenager. Now I have my notes with me in my bullet journal and I have my phone with the cringiest photos to look at. But I really want to start with my style as a teenager because I had the craziest style when I was, I would say between 13 and 15 years old. I was very inspired by music and I wore very colorful outfits. I had dozens of bracelets and necklaces. I would wear bright skirts over bright pants. I would add t-shirts on top of t-shirts on top of t-shirts. At some point I had pink hair. Um, I had dreadlocks, I looked like a hot mess most of the time, but my style was very inspired by music. That's when I discovered the music that I still listen to today. So a lot of rock, a lot of punk, a lot of metal as well. So um, when I wasn't at school, I would spend all my time at concerts and festivals. So my parents were really cool with me at the time. Um, the only two things that I couldn't do were piercings and tattoos and I'm glad because otherwise I would be covered in piercings that I would no longer want. Yeah, so as I said, my parents were really cool. That being said, I had a really hard time at school. I was bullied mainly because of the, the way I dressed. And even teachers would pick on me just because I was dressed in a different way. And at the time, I really just wanted to have fun with my looks. And I'm so glad that I did because um, although it led to me being bullied and having the worst time during high school, I feel like now I have a very tough skin and I'm not scared of trying out new things and um, having fun with my style and that's what my blog was all about at the start. I mean, it's called style playground for a reason. I just wanted to have fun with fashion. So yeah, I just wanted to show you those really cringy photos because I feel like it's important to know where I come from with my style. So if I look back at 2010, that's when I started my blog. At the time I was living in Paris. Um, I met Honor the year before, I was studying fashion design, I was living on my own. So when I look at my style in 2010, I was never in jeans, always wearing uh, dresses or high-waisted skirts. Um, I was wearing wedges on a daily basis um, when I was living in Paris, which was a bit crazy. I had this obsession with the mouse flats from Marc Jacobs. I had, I think at some point I had like seven pairs. Um, I was always wearing those and that's when I started my blog. 2010 was a weird year and I feel like you can tell that by looking at the photos because my dad passed away in April of that year. I moved back to Brussels for the summer to do my internship so it was a very um, curious time I would say um, and it translates into my outfit in a way. So let's move on to 2011. 2011 was Color blocking, I did a lot of color blocking. Like I see this outfit where I have like green pants and a pink top and then the next outfit I have like an orange and pink skirt that I still have and still wear um, with a dress underneath. It's not a top, it's actually a dress. So we said a lot of that and I was really into minimalist like Scandinavian look in some ways as well. So I have this look of me at Paris Fashion Week where I just went for a beautiful white dress with a grey belt. I think 2011 is the year that I went to visit my oldest friend. She was doing a year abroad in Copenhagen and I was so inspired by the style and the fashion over there that I tried to incorporate that into my own personal style. Um, not very successfully if I have to say. But um, yeah, we still see quite a bit of dresses with belts. I was never wearing a dress without a belt. I felt that it was like compulsory to show my waist. I think that my style in 2012 was all about basics. That was the year that I got my Isabelle Marron sneakers that I was obsessed with. I was always wearing like chunky knits and leather pants 
and I had this really simple, I think the key was that simple pieces that could mix together. So I wore a lot of like chunky sweaters over colorful pants and then I had, oh that's the year that I got my pair of uh, Jebra and Love Story jeans that I still have. It's crazy because sometimes I look at this picture and most of the things I still wear these days. So I think that 2012 was a really good year in style for me. I see this look that I really like where I was wearing like black skinny jeans, my black acne pistol boots that I still have, still wear, uh, a simple grey top and a beautiful YSL gold bag and I really had so much fun with my look this year because I finally understood where I wanted to be in terms of minimalism with like colors. I feel like I nailed it that year. I still see a couple of looks that I would totally wear today. Let's move on to 2013 and I feel like that was a really great year because I made some big purchases that I still wear and still love, like my princess cooler bag, um, I got my um, Stella McCartney sunglasses that I still love. And that's also when I started to take blogging really seriously. I was willing to it, always shooting photos, always working on new content for YouTube or for the blog. And I would say that this is the year that I really felt a lot more confident in my look, although I was wearing a lot of black. Now I understand what my mom was telling me at the time. She was like, you're always wearing black, wear some colors, which is crazy because two years before that, I was always wearing crazy colors, just like I was when I was a teen. So I see that I wore a lot of shorts, which is really surprising for me because shorts usually don't look good on me. And a lot of short skirts, that is crazy. So when we go on to 2014, 2014 was such a great year and a bad year. Um, I got engaged in May, which I remember totally changed my style because I started wearing a lot of white, a lot of pale pink, I just wanted to wear really pale pink nail polish all the time because it looks so great with my engagement ring. And I feel like you can see that in the first photos. But then we went to Florida and when I came back, I was starting to feel really sick. And for the last six months of the year, I was dying. I feel like if you look back in 2014, I did some uh, videos, I think it was during Vlogmas, explaining my health issue and then I think I did an update after the surgery um, but when when I look it's pretty tough for me to look back at those photos because in some of them I can see the pain on my face and it was such a terrible end of the year I was convinced that, that I was going to die I ended up having surgery and even after the surgery I felt better but um, to this day I still don't feel totally like myself again which is the worst feeling in the world. So, so 2014 is such a weird year because I was the happiest when I got engaged. I was so happy for like two or three months. It was one of the best times in my life. And then for the rest of the year, I was in hell all the time. So, so let's move on to 2015. So I got my surgery early in 2015. I think it was in January. So you can see in the first couple of photos that I'm still in pain and then I got surgery and I got a little bit better. But this is a year that um, I started to feel like an adult. We bought our house, which was a great milestone. And I feel like my style got a little bit boring in a way because I found my uniform. I was always wearing some sort of skinny jeans, white top, blazer over the top, and that was it. I wasn't wearing much color either. It was always black, white, pink, and a little bit of blue. But um, yeah, it was, it was kind of a busy year because we were buying the house, trying to think about the wedding, all that kind of stuff. So um, I didn't shoot that many outfit photos, I feel like. But, um, but I still feel like my style was a little bit more grown up in a way. And then 2016 came and I really left the blog aside because I was busy with the wedding and the house and everything was going on at the same time. So I feel like my style was really boring. I was really conscious about my body and I didn't want to wear anything too tight. I didn't really wear dresses in 2016 for some reason. All the outfits about from one, two are in jeans. That says a lot because I don't find skinny jeans to be that comfortable, although I lived in them last year, just because I wasn't comfortable in my own skin. And also after the wedding, I gained so much weight that I couldn't really fit into my clothes 
and I didn't look good when I looked at myself in the mirror. I wasn't happy in the place that I was. So um, when I realized that, I decided that 2017 is gonna be the year that I'm gonna finally feel comfortable in my own skin. So if you look at 2017, I feel like it really shows. I did a lot of shopping because I was bored. I was wearing always the same old clothes that I've had for years and years. I mean, some of the things that I saw in the photos back in 2010, I still wear to this day. So um, I just wanted a lot of new things. I started working with photographers for the outfit on the blog, which is so much better because before that, I used to uh, have us run out to take my photos and we always ended up fighting over the photos because they were never exactly what I wanted. So I feel like I'm having so much more fun this year with my clothes. I feel confident. I still haven't lost the weight, but I'm sure I will someday, but not right now. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, I'm wearing a lot more dresses and skirts. I bought denim shorts, which I haven't purchased in years. And I just feel better. I feel like I'm finally there and I found my style and I'm not afraid to try new things. I'm not afraid to buy trendy things, which is something that I haven't done in years. Um, I think the last trend I pretty much followed was color blocking way back in 2011. So um, it has been fun to purchase, you know, the off shoulder tops and stuff like that. So I'm really happy with uh, where I am today with my style. So yeah, that was quite a big video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. It was so much fun to go through all the photos. And if you want to see even more photos of my outfit and stuff, there's always my blog. There are thousands and thousands of photos over there. Uh, some better than the others, but you can look into the fashion, like the style category. You have um, a subcategory with all my outfits and you can go through that if you want to have a good laugh. And if you had any crazy style or if you want to tell me more about your own personal style, I would love to discuss that in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.